you have patiently suffered for me without quitting. What a wonderful church. Even through suffering they patiently wait upon God. For four months there was little offering in this church. Very few people could send their offerings on WhatsApp or Facebook. Very few people could send their money on mobile or money. We have patiently suffered not having money to pay the bills. We are behind television payment three months. But we have patiently suffered without quitting. We continue to preach on television whether money is there or not. We are continuing to minister on all social media networks whether money is there or not. We are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. On Instagram. Instagram. We are on Twitter. Twitter. We are on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. We are on TV. TV. We continue to minister in very difficult circumstances. So Jesus is saying, Pastor Mutebi in the Ephesian church, you are wonderful people because you have patiently suffered for me without quitting. Even when money is long there, you have patiently suffered for me. You have not quit whatsoever. You are such a wonderful church. You are such a powerful church. You are such a great church. I want you to know that whatever you are doing, I know them. Whatever you are going through, I see them. Oh, you are wonderful. But here comes a bombshell in verse number 4. Here comes a bombshell. Nevertheless, I have something against you because thou hast left thy first love. That is the message for the Ephesian church. Everything is okay. Whatever you are doing is alright. I have even appended my signature for your good work. But I have discovered one thing among you. You have left your first love. Do we have anybody in the house today? Those seated here and those watching by television whom Jesus is talking to right now. Do we have anybody who has left his first love? If you are here the letter to the Ephesian church is your letter. It is your letter. That's why I said that this letter was written directly to the present church at Ephesus in Asia Minor. Today is Turkey. But also, this letter becomes yours if all that is written are applicable to you. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against you because thou hast left thy first love. We have many people who will not come back to church because of coronavirus. You hear them say, I have been safe. I cannot go back to church because coronavirus will catch me there. 
you think the church is the real place where coronavirus can get you? Anybody who says that has left his first love. Because you cross check and the details and see. People have been dying since June up to today. People have been catching coronavirus since June up to today. People have been in intensive care units since June up to today. But the churches were closed. So that means they don't catch corona from church. Because church has been closed since June 5th up to today but the highest number of infections was in July in July all places of worship were closed so that means everybody who caught corona did not get corona from church they don't get corona from the mosque because those places have been shut down but even being shut down Corona got its height when churches were closed that simply means they did not get corona from church but a person who has left his first love he will have an excuse to say I will not go back to the choir I will not go back to serve God I will not go back to church service because I fear corona will catch me up this is the first day for church to open. That means all the people who caught corona and died of corona did not get it from church. Because churches are open today. When somebody loses his first love, he will have such excuses. He will go to Kabubu. He will go to the Pioneer Mall. He will go to the Victoria Mall. He will go to uh, the market. He will go in the taxi. He will go to shopping Kampala. But the only place he will not attend is church. Because his first love tells him if you go there, you shall catch it. As if everybody who caught it, caught it from the church. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus' letter is specifically addressing this issue everything is okay you are doing very well but I have something against you you have left your first love ladies and gentlemen if you are here today and you are listening to me and you have left your first love I want to inform you. You are no longer a member of Entebbe Miracle Center Church. You are seated here but you belong to the Vision Church. First love husbands who are here if you are seated close to your wife turn your eyes and look at her. Turn Turn your eyes and look at her. If you are seated here and your husband is here, turn your eyes and look at him. Does he have, still have the first love? First love is everywhere. Even in boyfriend girlfriend relationships, you used to call her honey, darling, baby scholar, baby. What do you call him now? You call him Corona. <laughs> you said, Corona, but 
I will see it on people's statuses. Go yagalo kula bena kumu nsimu no. Get those me statuses aban. Get to see sorrow. Go and watch statuses of people. Na dalaya dana hospitality ne dana motebi. Ne Sandra Albert. Get those statuses aban. Do you kula baban tu ntiba Go and see people's statuses. People are tired. Genda kusata tasi ya kalori ni unique Okeberia awantubako wa Go and watch, people are tired Ekanisa ya Abefeso The church of Abefeso Mpitilif Mpitilif It's so wonderful Tujivunane chintwech We are blaming it only one thing Love ea so kateriwo The first love was lost Ndi wanokuwa gamba basibo ni manyabu uluwale I'm here to tell you ladies and gentlemen President ingabo ya gude wa makanisa As the president opened the churches Tandi kukwe kebela obo chari na love ea so ka Begin to check whether you still have the first love Tandi kukebela obo chakole bintu ea wakola mkusoka You used to check and see whether you are still doing the things you used to do We tunulile ten years ago Look at to yourself in Yaka Kumiya G. You say, Member of Miracle Melodies, the member of Miracle Melodies, over echoes of healing, echoes of healing. But Yabango, when somebody used to go to give birth in the hospital, the choir members used to go and visit. Kebero, Walero, Obo Chachala, check yourself and see whether you still go back to Chachala, Waleko Kwagala Kokwaso. Then you have lost your first love. Yaka Kumiya G. Say, ten years ago, Boabango, Uganda, Filidwam, Kwano, Gemu Chacheno, anyone had lost a relative in this church. He used to go and host them and uh, give ne them a and the, and the choir used to go and sing at night. We help console them at night. Ne encourage them the whole night. Check yourself today. If anyone in the church loses their mother, they when they rule their father, they can go and help the father. O cha shovolo genda no musuze. Are you still able to go and pay If you're not able, you lost your first love. Look, you minister of the church. Sing in the miracle melodies. Sing in the miracle melodies. Sing in the mass choir. Sing in the mass choir. Sing in praise and worship. Sing in praise and worship. Sing in echoes of healing. You sing in echoes of healing. Ten years ago, no one used to call you for practice. Na yoro alero. Today, when they don't send you a WhatsApp message, or a text message, or a text message, or a mutual antenna, now come back and see me. Says intended gives you a call. You are not able to come to church. You cannot come for practice. If you are sad, yes, we are kugamba. Jesus is saying to you, whatever you do is good. But I have a reason. Someone has lost your first love. Ten years ago, and you are coming again. What it angered you more? You used to bring your time. When the pastor preached, all the pastors preached. All the pastors preached about it. All the pastors today. Mala kuburi da mwezi mulamba. I first preached for a whole month. Omo tunetukira tiba wechi mwe chakumi. And someone remember that they preached. When the pastor preached, if I don't preach about it, no mo tachi dukira. They will not remember. Bobo fana gana bwati. If you are like that, yes, wa kugamba. Jesus is saying to you. Wale koko kwa gala koko kwa soka. You left your first love. Wale koko kwa gala koko kwa soka. You left your first love. Everything is okay. But you have left your first love. You are going to see. Churches are open today. Did you know that? Do you know that all the chairs you are seated on right now? I am the one who packed them alone. Yes, I packed all the chairs in the morning alone. Where are the ushers? Alone. Every chair you are seated on. I'm the one who put it there. First love. Even Namara did not appear. Even in Namara. Did not appear. First love. 
First love. I was even about to look for soap and water. Because I was not seeing it. I was here at 6 o'clock. For me, I was very excited. That's why I told you I put it even on a suit. Yes. I'm, I'm feeling all the heat. Yes. But what can I do? I chose it today. I was very excited. That church has opened. I come here. And the church has a disorganized. I said, no, I'm going to pack them. Where are the 100 ushers we have in our list? First love. First love is gone. First love is disappeared. That's what Jesus is saying. You are doing everything okay. But you have left your first love. In other words, you are no longer doing things I used to do them. You wait and see. Some choir members are not coming back to sing. You wait and see. Now I have only one interpreter. This woman has been interpreting me every day since June. Her and her alone. Where are the interpreters? Where have they gone? They have left their first love. This is the message for the Ephesian church. You might be doing other things well. But first love is more important. Do you know why people come to church late? They even miss praise and worship because their first love for God is disappeared. People come to church late in the midst of the preaching because their first love for God, their first love for church is already gone. That's why Jesus is telling you. Hey, Entebbe Miracle Center. Hey, Pastor Mutebe. Whatever you are doing is okay. What you are going through is okay. I have seen your patience. I have seen your suffering. I'm seeing what you are doing. I've been preaching here every day for four months. Jesus has been doing what I'm doing. But in the middle of the letter, he said nevertheless I have something against you I have something against you thank you for the good things but I have something against you you have left your first love please give me the new life translation and I interpret it in that, in that direction but I have this complaint against you. You do not love me. Or you don't love each other. As you did at first. Where is the brotherly love? Brotherly love. God is love. Church love. Ministry love. You have done everything okay. But I have this complaint against you. A complaint of Jesus is a real complaint. A husband can complain against his wife. A wife can complain before his uh, co-wife. A parent can complain before children. That is okay. A bank manager can complain before our employees. But when Jesus says, I have this complaint against you, take it serious. 
Why do we have to call you anymore right, to come and clean the church? Because you left your first letter. Why do we read the mobile numbers every service? 0708 0867 Airtel Money 0776 Please send your offering online. Why do we do that? Because someone somewhere has left his first work. Somebody who knows that we pay electricity. Today there is no power the whole day. Umeme announced two days ago. We are on generator right now. Just hearing the voice of the generator wakes up somebody who is the first love to know that I might give to the house of God. I have to pay my tithe. But even tithing, we are reminding people why people have left their first love. So this message is not necessarily to the Ephesian church. It is for everybody who falls in this category. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah! <laughs> we have to remind you even to say hallelujah.